Today, we're making vegetable stew with sautéed cactus. Joining us is the legendary Lady Bunny, whose appearance in Tom Rubnitz's video, Strawberry Shortcut, inspired this web series, Cooking with Drag Queens. Well, why would you need that if you just put water in it? <laughs> you talk shit, man. Because that, they, they put the water. Let me point something out to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's your secret, mm -hmm. by the that's, way. That's mm -hmm. it. Oh, thanks <laughs> a lot. Look for it on eBay. This is Mark. He likes to cook. This is his husband, Fausto. He loves to eat. For years on Feast of Fun, they have been hanging out with the fiercest of queens. The people are still hungry for more, so it's time to set this kitchen on fire. Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. Right now, we need your help. If everyone enjoying this episode gives just $1, we can easily fund Season 2 of the series. Please visit cookingwithdragqueens.com to make a donation to keep the series from getting the chop. Stews are a wonderful thing. Take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, anything delicious in your fridge, throw it in a big pot, and then suddenly you have enough food to feed a crowd. Some folks dismiss vegetable dishes as rabbit food, but if you do it right, it can be an awesome main meal. Today we're gonna make a vegetable stew with a couple of different twists on it that's sure to get your mouth watering. Joining us is the glorious Lady Bunny. For years, Bun Bun has influenced generations of drag queens with her over-the-top humor and legendary Wigstock Drag Festival. I can't think of any other drag queen who has influenced me more than Lady Bunny, so I'm proud to claim her as my drag mother. I'm Lady Bunny, and I'm all about eating. <laughs> I came up with the name Bunny probably because Sergeant Carter on Gomer Powell had a blonde girlfriend named Bunny. There was also a comic book which I collected called Bunny, Queen of the In Crowd. I don't know, it just kind of stuck. I also, when I started doing drag, the drag in the 80s was so like shoulder pads and beaded bugle bead fringe that it seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, oh, I love to perform raunchy comedy, sometimes too raunchy for gay pride at Bible Belt. Hey, everybody. So Justin Bieber comes home and tells his mom he started puberty. She says, how do you know? And he says, I'm bleeding out of my vagina. I'm of the mind, if it exists, you can make fun of it. You know, I mean, don't you shut up, man, you obnoxious guy. Sometimes the world is an ugly place, so why not have a laugh, you know? I, I live alone, and New Yorkers tend to order out a lot. I don't cook for myself, but if I do, I cook a stew so I could just make it once and it's easy, and then it just slop. And I literally, I am such a pig that it does not even make it into a bowl. The pot is lugged over to the bed. <laughs> Food does bring people together, and even though I hated him for it, my dad would not let us fiddle with anything. We didn't have cell phones back then. We would not let us have the TV on. When we when we got together, we sat there, and even if we had an argument or he'd spanked us or whatever, we were there at the table at meals. Welcome. Welcome. Mark! <laughs> Fausto! Hello! 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 Hi, darling. Oh. How can I possibly? <laughs> 
possibly be old enough to be anyone's mother. <laughs> you are so cookie and wild, and that's why this is gonna be such a fun show. <laughs> I'm new on the scene. I don't know who that other bunny or that wig stock stuff is, but let's get to cooking. <laughs> so, so Lady Bunny, why did you want to make for us vegetable stew? It's actually called peasant stew. And it is my mother's <laughs> recipe, which yeah. I did save when I moved to New York. She did give me the, what do you call the little metal box with index the cards in it? Box. A recipe Yes, the recipe yeah. box. She's so cute. And I uh, love my mother a lot. She was a great cook. She always introduced us to cuisines from around yeah. the world, even though she is from Greensboro, North Carolina. We did, you know, um, she was just always excelled at cooking. And, you know, you, you, even though I can't, I'm a good cook, you know, but it's basically knowing like what kinds of things go with each other. And for example, this is a tomato based stew. So you could add any of the spices like basil or oregano, uh, you know, which go with tomato based <laughs> stews. I mean, it's, That's it's, very, it's, it's very economical. Okay, Lady there, Bunny, we're going to play a little quiz. Okay. Which one is the tomato of the three things? <laughs> well, this one came out of your ass, <laughs> and this one is the, no, I, I don't know. So this <laughs> is, a, this is a tomato, but this uh, little is thing. That a, it's a little Mexican squash. Isn't oh, I thought that cute? was a fig. No, it's a little squash. I'm colorblind, okay? Uh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to set this kitchen on fire here. And uh, we're gonna start with a big old pot, and the, you know, drag language borrows a lot from French and French language and French culture, right? Maybe. As, yeah, it is like you always hear chante, saute, you know, <laughs> un chante. And uh, so we're gonna start teach you guys a new Sachet, word. Saute, saute, oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> saute, girl. saute. Girl. Okay. So can, a, we, can, a, we can, the, can we can the RuPaul references from here on? <laughs> No. So is, are, are, is we this? are we starting okay, this? Are we starting this? Okay, so this is the word I want to, the word of the day is mirepoix, which is the French base of all soups, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, all over the world, different cultures call it different things. In Italy and in Latin America, it's sofrito. It's beans! Oh, Mama. Why do you hate me? So we're going to throw in because some... Uh, <laughs> Put on a wig, you fag, and mop the floor. <laughs> so we're going to throw... Start cooking, lady buddy. Okay. What is this so one listen, that one? I gotta tell you something about this recipe. It's not really a recipe because you can add anything you want. I don't know what mirepoix is, but I think it's just olive mirepoix. oil. We need more than that. You we need more? olive oil. And okay. you, listen, honey, you put loads of onion. Put more than you think you need because Do you want me to onion put another one? sweetens it without sugar. And there's two things that make food, you crave food, fat and sweet. This has both onions that are sweet. Let's put all this no, in here. Okay, yeah. You, and this is, those are carrots and celery. Celery. And, you can put any vegetable that you have in your kitchen okay. that you would normally cook. Don't put lettuce. Don't put blueberries. <laughs> Don't put... <laughs> See, I look at this as a way to a dish where you will not crave meat because it is so flavorful and so hearty that if, especially if you have bits of things that are chewy, you don't miss the meat as much. So it's a good way to try vegetarian cooking because yeah. Lady Bunny, um, have you always called yourself Lady Bunny or did you all have other drag names in, early in your career? Uh, Lady Bunny was longer. Uh, I had other things that I would add to it. So like, Lady Bunny it, the Duchess? It, it, it was the Lady Bunny for okay. a while. It was the lady, in quotes, bunny, but that became so confusing because they would put yeah. quotes around the in the press and it would be like, oh, is it the real one? <laughs> <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, and there's nothing real about me. But um, the, it, I had other silly names. I mean, what, I never e e anticipated that it would stick <laughs> or that I would do this for the rest of my life. RuPaul and I were crazy kids yeah. in Atlanta, Georgia in the 80s. We didn't have a penny to our name. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to be out there on the scene, so we needed a name. Of course, all the drag then was very polished. Pageant queens, who I worship still and yeah. am in touch with, Hot Chocolate, uh, from, who is uh, Tina Turner in Frank Marino's show in Las Vegas. Mm. I'm still in touch with a lot of those girls. Dina Jacobs, I've worshipped those girls. But we were yeah. not them. We were the, the artsy-fartsy crowd. I was always drawn to drag queens after seeing them perform in Chattanooga, Tennessee at a place called the Go-Go Club. There was Adrian Sanchez, the look and feel of real. 
Miss Candy Carrington the illusion of confusion. <laughs> not get enough of, or the irrepressible, Claire St. Clair. Anyway, they had these titles and it drove me wild. At that point, it was the role of the drag queen to bring music that we didn't know. Like a lot of drag queens will lip sync to live versions of, you know, Natalie Cole. Or the drag queens picked them because they were so incredible. And so they turned generations. These were passed down as drag culture. That's why I'm a little bit bored when I just see someone just doing top 40 you know it's like i don't that's not bringing me anything very interesting it 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 it, it was just kind of like a, a tradition that you were about something more than just top 40. i'm never too sure about when you put the spices into stews some people say it towards the yeah. end but i like to put them in at the beginning but i'm, I'm well, lazy so. Well, I like putting the salt in, in this step, a little bit of it, because the salt pulls out the moisture from the vegetables and it helps them, like, Well, why would you need that if you just put water in it? <laughs> <laughs> you talk shit, man. Because uh, they, they put the water. Let me point something out to you. Yeah. Oh, that's yours to keep, by that's, the way. That's uh, it. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Look for it on eBay. <laughs> I think this is a little water because it's starting to sure. stick. Let's well, do well. that here. I love cooking in the kitchen with you. I always imagine As this is As opposed to cooking like to in, the in the study the or a bedroom or bathroom, which we usually do. What, what's it like actually to, to live with you? Like you've had oh, a lot horrible. of Oh, horrible. I'm a pig. I'm a slob. I would never live with anyone. The last people I lived with were Paul and really? Mahoma, I would never put my anyone so through Wahoma living Vincent with me. and RuPaul. And Larry T. And, and Larry Nelson T. Sullivan that shot all those videos in the 80s. And imagine how fun that was to live with someone with a camera. But he knew that I could not, that I would, I said, do not film me off stage, on yeah. stage film, anything that I do. But Everybody asked me, what does Lady Bunny look like out of drag? Well, I'm gonna Jeff show. Jeff Daniels, okay, who, ready? who gained weight. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, see? That's pretty much what Lady Bunny looks out of drag. <laughs> exactly. Well, you look exactly like, almost except, except for the eyelashes and the wig, it's like, and yet it's very important for you to like have this illusion that Lady Bunny always looks like Lady Bunny. Well, it's my mask, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, is, is, the, is Lady Bunny the real Lady Bunny and then, like, has you become the, the creature of your own creation? Uh, you know, I don't really think of it in that way. I think that, you know, in the same way that, that I would tell Nelson to film me on stage, yeah. you know, and I'm glad that people enjoy the behind the scenes footage. I, I, I work to do hard to, to, to create a look and to do, yeah. so I don't find the behind the stuff scenes interesting. I don't understand why people want to see drag queens on drag race out of drag. I don't, I don't get it. I want to see, I don't want to see Carol Channing yeah. or Dolly Parton without their wigs. So if you've <laughs> created something, why wouldn't you show that i mean the cameras sure. don't roll in people's but well they don't they didn't use to but i heard that uh dolly parton out of drag mm -hmm. has black hair and tattoos on her sleeves and that's why she's like always wears long sleeves because it's like, i've never heard that at all but uh not well if she were a lesbian as has been sometimes rumored that might match up <laughs> <laughs> would you like a treat there was enough for you. But I find this tree very, I know how you like this. This is quite wonderful. Don't you, at me. Don't you, at me. You want my tree. Don't you, at me. It is quite nice. Do you like the flavor? Well, let's taste it out. I wouldn't want to bore you with anything subpar because I know you have a fine taste in treats and you deserve only the finest. Therefore, oh, Oh, that is good. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to uh, have probably most of it, but I will try to save it. Oh, oh, that is delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my very goodness. Would you like to share it with you? You bite me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the vegetables now. These are the zucchinis here. These oh, are these squash. are? are these here? <laughs> Oh, squash, uh, we have uh, garbanzo you, beans. You call them zucchinis, beans. I call them dildos. <laughs> and what are these exotic little things? Here? I don't know. Those are uh, Mexican squashes. 
So we're gonna cut these up while you're chopping this. I have never seen those. And we like, you like it kind of chunky or how, how? I do and I never ever peel any vegetables because they're more nutritious <laughs> with the peel on. And uh, we have some potatoes too. Don't peel them. Here Mark, I'll cut see. one. Put yourself to work. Uh, so hey, Lady Bunny. What, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> I thought you cut yourself. <laughs> are you on prep? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be? If you're uh, cutting yourself? Maybe. Uh, so, so bun <laughs> bun. Blood sauce We're putting here. some potatoes in first. <laughs> oh, what is your philosophy? Uh, what? what is your philosophy about cooking the vegetables? Well, don't overcook them, but also don't peel them because the peel in the potato is the most nutritious part. Sure. Um, and look, if you have a vegetable that's going bad, put it in here. It's really... So you want to put rotten food in there. That's, That's right. Don't you want a little cloth there? It gives it a complexity. That looks nice. Let's pull this out so it looks pretty there. You can put broccoli, cauliflower, uh, you have string beans there. It does not matter. It really doesn't matter. Does it, long, it, but you're getting sure. more vegetables than almost any other dish. And you yeah. know, you're, you're, you can make this a, a fuller meal with a salad because there's no leafy vegetables in it. Although I guess the kale freaks could be. <laughs> do you a, like kale? It's amazing how kale just is blew up. But huh? do you like kale? I don't much I kale, kale for it. I don't much kale for it. <laughs> you didn't get my, you didn't get my joke. Should we put the, the beans in yeah, and we do, and, and it is okay to use canned beans because like you were saying, it takes a long time to soak them. These are beans that came from a can and they were rinsed. And <laughs> I like, I am a big fan of, of canned beans. Honey, I throw the, the juice that they came in the can in there too. No, I... Oh, so give me that tomato puree sure. too. How I mean, fancy is that? Why waste it? So make sure you use that. We, we tried this recipe out already and this specific brand of tomato puree is very thick. So we're using about half a can of it. Okay. It, feels, it gets very tomato-y. Mm. And here we go. Here's some. Is this pot How melting you, my makeup yet? Uh, probably. <laughs> is this? Is so this the important thing is, is too. Is the, the, the heart, yes. The harder, yes. the harder vegetables you want to put in first so that they cook more. Right. And then the mushrooms ones you, put you can put in later, or. I like putting the mushrooms in with the mirepoix. When you do f eat yeah. vegetables, you fart the house down. Well, okay. we have a little secret though to to calm down the the gas you might experience. Uh, the Mexicans use something called epazote. Epazote. So this is the herbal equivalent of Beano. Mm. And so you can throw in about, I, I, this is kind of what it looks like. It's a spray it's, usually. But we have about a, a spray it for you this some pot. farting? It helps. It's a digestive Could herb. you throw some in my ass? <laughs> sure. Bend over, honey. Because <laughs> I've been farting since I got you. Stick it in there. You know, I'm a big fan of yours. Would you do me a favor and sign your autograph? Why Just don't you write wait your name. Until I'm backstage, crazy gluing an earring on and in desperate need of a drink with nails on that will pop off your stupid notepad. Fuck you. I'm a big fan of yours, Lady Bunny, and I've always wanted to get your autograph. And you know, yeah, you wait until you've given me a drink. Well, we have an assistant here. Old. We have an assistant here, and he's going to watch one minute of the show. <laughs> I love squirrels. They are my friends. <laughs> Look. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like it when you hold that big black thing next to my mouth. I can't read that though. Lady Bunny! Because drag is so mainstream now, and drag races on TV, there are younger fans. I'm doing two shows at the Castro at, in the Drag Queens of Comedy thing, and they said, don't do the dirty stuff as dirty in the first set, because the younger kids come with their moms, maybe, you know, 13. I'm not out to taint kids' minds, but at the same time, that's very, very foreign to someone who, you know, um, cut their teeth performing in late night clubs where it, the more outrageous the better, everybody was drunk or on drugs. Rosie O'Donnell is taking a new drug for lesbians who suffer from depression. It's called Tricoxigan. <laughs> the difference between Madonna and E.T. Both monsters have ridiculous cheekbones, but E.T. could act. 
you know, Bianca says, you know, I'm a fucking man in a wig, you know, what do you expect, or, or are you ready for me to be a hateful, you know, cunt tonight? And she kind of makes the comparison, it's like, I I'm in drag, what do you, a man in drag, what do you expect, a, you know, a church, you know, kind of person, and I, I don't know, I, I, I just think... I, I enjoy rotten humor, so why would I not do it? I mean, I'm free, you know? I'd like to draw a little attention to tofu. Now, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about tofu. They like it, they don't like it. Well, this is an amazing way to make tofu that a lot of people don't realize. Mark, will you pass that to me? There you go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your tofu into tiny little cubes and then pour some vegetable broth and stick the whole thing in the freezer for a couple of days. And what happens is that sticking tofu in the freezer gets the ice crystals to change the texture of the tofu. And it makes it chewy like meat, so you will yeah. never ever miss meat. You've done this before then? No, I've had a uh, chicken salad, a vegetarian chicken salad with my mom and it was so good. Mm. It's time to put a lid on it, bunny. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this the lid, and Mark's gonna make uh, a delicious nopales. Mm -hmm. Give it up for Lady Bunny! to just book whoever is on this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Can, well, I mean, now that I'm on that subject, I mean, it's like, this season is, is so dull, they're thinking of changing the name of the show, so you think you can contour. wants to do drag to put facial hair on. Okay, enough about that. But snap your fingers if you would. To the beat. <laughs> I can take a burlap sack and make it look like a Valentino gown. I can turn three Craigslist tricks and make my gig on the other side of town. Lay in bed and eat Popeyes, watching Judge Judy and then slap on my face, throw on and pay my rent by 10 cause I'm a drag queen D-R-A-G-Q-U-E-E-N I can spell too, I'll say it again So we've been cooking the stew for half an hour. In the meantime, <sighs> we want you to make some delicious 
uh, nopales. What are these, Mark? Those so are these cactuses. are like cactus, and it's kind of a, they're slimy a little bit like uh, okra is, but if you get a nice brown on them too, they really add a nice flavor to it. And they're really, they're good Which for your digestion. Which goes for penises. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, these Every time cut, Lady Bunny makes a brown slimy, dick joke, yeah, take a shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want to give them a little sizzle. Ooh. So you have that hot little oil. Oh, you like uh, lots of oil, don't you? Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put a little salt on them too. Okay. Salty and put it in there and we'll just flop that around for a little bit. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had these before? No. You've never had them? Paulus. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Brian, are uh, here. Um, no, I have not. I've had other kinds of cactus, yeah. but generally speaking, cactus is like yucca. It doesn't have a ton of flavor. It just oh, yucca root. Yeah, well, yucca, whatever that yam is. It's with called no yucca, flavor. not it's, yucca. It's yucca, honey, because it's like, like a sweet potato without the sweet. It is yucca. No, actually, yucca is delicious. No, fried. it is vile. Girl. Yeah, everything is delicious fried. <laughs> Including so, my clinic huh? And so this is something you want to put in just like five minutes before it's done. And so we'll just get that brown and then add it to that, to the stew, and five minutes later, it's Smells ready to delicious. eat. delicious. So this is the stew that's been cooking for about 30 minutes, and we're gonna take the lid off. Lady Bunny, do you want to show us? I'd love to. Ah! <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <sighs> Ooh. Peasant stew, Lady yes. Becky's recipe. So at this point, we're going to throw in, this is one of my little secret uh, magic powders. This is nutritional yeast. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. no, thanks. Put it up. <laughs> so nutritional Trust yeast it. is actually in all broths and soups. So like from Lipton. <laughs> Throw his vomit in this one. And uh, you've ruined it. You've spoiled it. It actually I has have a you taste it before and Once after. you've spoiled it, it can never go back. And we're putting in about, you know, a third of a cup of nutritional yeast into all this stuff. We actually have the whole recipe on our cookbook, uh, Cooking with Drag Queen Season 1, so you can make this. What uh, do you put nutritional yeast in it for? Because it adds uh, flavor and complexity and nutrition. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I, Lady be, Becky be is looking on disapprovingly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like nutritional well, yeast? She, she, I don't she, know it as a flavor enhancer. Oh, honey. It's what all, all those broths have nutritional yeast. If you read the, the, the ingredients, the first thing in there is nutritional yeast. Well, this is a peasant stew, and peasants don't have any fucking nutritional <laughs> yeast. So we're, and we're, I have some very nutritional yeast. <laughs> between your legs. See a doctor about that, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, plate this here. We're gonna serve Is that this. transphobic to say that I have yeast? No. Okay, I'm just, just checking, because you have to be so careful these days. Well, it's, it, <laughs> you follow I'm afraid to even be seen on camera eating, because that might be fat shaming <laughs> myself. Well, there's a lot of drag queens that won't eat in drag. Yeah, what is up with that? Drugs. <laughs> well, they're too busy doing drugs or something to eat? Yeah, they're on so many drugs that if they did eat something, that they would just instantly shit. So we're going to serve this here. <laughs> and their the dicks up their ass. <laughs> So that means that they would just You shit. can do this, watch, watch this cool thing. Be like this. Dinner is served. Where, where was the cool thing? <laughs> <laughs> I just like making that big gong. Now, Mark got this giant ladle from an Asian supermarket, which is so big you actually can eat from it. But I like serving Not from me. these little things. <laughs> So we're gonna use the, the little spoon and I'm gonna just put a little bit of brown rice the, with the lime and the parsley onto the side. And we're gonna put this stew. Oh, Lady Bunny, this looks gorgeous. And Thanks. it really is so healthy. Easy. Healthy. Just like and you. Easy. Well, I'm not that healthy. Or easy? <laughs> no. Easy, yes. There healthy you go, enough. Mark. This one's for you. Here we go, bun bun. It's really a, a treat to be making this with you. So here we go, vegetable stew with Lady Bunny. How's it taste? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it, it's mm. hot. I like mine with a little sour cream too. Do you? I do. I'm gonna put, put some on mine, I wanna try it. Want some sour cream? 
You, you not, don't know if you're supposed to eat dairy these days. It's, well, <laughs> well, what are you killing the to climate? Well, yeah, clearly, I rule out so many dietary. Well, you know, you know the rule that I have about that. Clearly, I couldn't maintain this figure. The rule that I have about that is you can eat whatever the hell you want as long as you cooked it at mm. home. Because mm. if you go through the trouble of like eating something that is a little bit decadent, it's like you went, you sweated it out, you know? You earned it. So Lady Bunny. This garlic. Mm. While your mouth is full, I want to uh, present to you a token of our appreciation for being an extraordinary queen who hip hop into our hearts and grew a delicious garden of love and inspiration and humor. We want to present to you a Cookie with Drag Queens medal mm. for Lady Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tight, I'm you. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Mmm, what's for dessert? Dessert? I like the little dill. I forgot. Need a quick dessert? Take the shortcut. The, the strawberry, strawberry shortcut. shortcut. Take a donut. Place it in a serving dish. Marinate with cherry 7-Up. Sweeten it with jelly. Add fresh strawberry. And whip topping. That was quick. I took the shortcut. The strawberry shortcut. Well, I don't have anything for dessert except this big old plate of donuts. Oh, fuck the healthy stew. Now we're talking. <laughs> I love processed dessert. Just make sure, get a, make, sure, oh, make sure you get make sure you get a oh, um, here, let me just take Is that it how they did it? No. With strawberry shortcut? Was it a donut? Girl, you know I'm seeing that. That was in the 80s, honey. And some strawberries. I, you know, Tom Rubinitz, his sister is living right here in Chicago. I'm so glad people are still talking about him. I felt so lucky to be included in those little video shorts. Did it, even Jackie Beat did a take on one of them. Did you see it? No. What no. Was it? Oh, Jackie Beat re redid either Pickle Surprise or Strawberry Shortcut. Okay, really? So, mm -hmm. It's genius. She played me. We have never made this before. This is uh, this is uh, right on camera. So we're gonna do the actual strawberry shortcut on camera here. So you're gonna start with a plastic to-go container, just like they did in the video. Mm -hmm. And can you uh, give me this over here? Yeah. I totally. don't remember the Seven Up, but that is disgusting. Yeah. So this is what they do. I'm just gonna do one, and then we can try a different approach. So we can all test, test with it. plop it with, thusly. Which one did I wear the which one did I wear the long wig and which one did I wear the This bomb? is the short one. Okay. <laughs> so you put the How high were you when you taped when you recorded that? Well now that was actually my hair. Okay, so listen, pay attention here. In the short one. So we're gonna put a donut in thusly, and then we're gonna pour some cherry oh, seven donut up. in thusly. Now that's sister dimensions line. Okay. She just texted me the other day some bullshit about shoe. Be gone. That's like she girl. Be gone. That's that's like. So you pour the seven oh. up on top of the donut. Oh. <laughs> that's that's like so you pour the seven up on top of the donut. All those health benefits from that nutritional stew. And then we're gonna take have just some gone to the fuck some uh. Jelly. Jam or jelly. Yeah! Throw it in there. Because the donut is not sweet enough <laughs> with the soda on it. This is perfect for diabetics. You want to get rid of. And then you're going to throw the strawberries on top. Because you want all to make sure you use fresh fruit with <laughs> and buddy, you do the cold glazed And I did the then, whipped cream. Here, let me open this up for you. Here. Did they really use the soda? Oh, yeah. Yes, I it's in the video. So here it is strawberry shortcut. With 30 lady. years later, Lady Bunny is I, making this dessert. With what's the surprise? The can of whipped cream is empty! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yay. 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 Yay! Still cooking after all these years. Tom, oh wow. Tom, Tom would love it if he knew that we were recreating this moment. Lady Bunny, thank you so much for cooking with us. It's been a delight. Mm. I want Tell everybody out there that if you can't cook for yourself, how the hell are you gonna cook for somebody else? 
Can I get a <laughs> You can get a <laughs> on that one, huh? Can I get can I get a bon appetit? Ooh. Bon appetit. Yes. Say it. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yay! <laughs> Now will you help us clean this mess up? Fuck no. <laughs> People don't get together anymore. We think that we're together because we're liking each other's posts on anti-social media. But we really do not get in each other's faces very often. And now I hear that people all have their devices at meals. And I'm like, ooh, that was, because I mean, whether you liked it or not, you kind of got together at mealtime and there was a reckoning. No matter what fight you'd had with your sister, there was a reckoning and everybody kind of went to bed, you know, connected and forgiven and happy.